Hello and welcome to another Car Smart Racing video. Um, this one we're starting a new uh, cup, and this is the GR, the Toyota GR Yaris M300. Um, it's the four-wheel drive one that's just come out in real life. Um, so before we give it a go, it's a bit of a special car. Um, so we're at Monza. It's a five-race championship. This is the sprint race, as you can see, getting underway. We've just done qualifying. Um, I'd qualified second, so I was on the right of the grid. Uh, obviously turn one at Monza it's going to be tricky um, you can see the pole position there uh, I break very late just missed that second apex but um, we still hold position but unfortunately I do get a second penalty as you can see but I'm not worried about that hopefully I can burn that off um, we're just taking it back now to have a look at that first turn from a few different views but yes hopefully I can burn that off um, and um, at least we scampered away in second place there. Um, yeah, a few different views of it. First corner at Monza is always a nightmare. However, wasn't too bad. I think there was a couple of people that went off. Yes, there was a bit of pushing and shoving, but that's going to happen at Turn 1 in Monza, as you can see. But generally speaking, most people did make it around the turn. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, that's just one of those things uh, right let's skip back to the front again there so you've got Tepic in uh, first place I myself are in second we're on an in-car shot at the moment and I really hooked that chicane up very well there um, as always with all our championships if you've watched any of the others we do qualifying and then a sprint race which is what this is um, and then after the sprint race will be the feature race which is about uh, 20 laps here I think um, and no stipulations on this first race it is just a sprint um, the second race will be a reverse grid of where we uh, finish in this uh, race and in the second race the only stipulation on tyres is you must use the hard compound at some point it's up to you if you use softs, mediums, whatever, you don't have to um, but you must use hards at least once And as you can see, we're just looking through the grid there and looking at a few different other players, see how they're racing, how they're getting on. Once again, uh, some of them have done fantastic liveries. Um, so well done to them, thanks to the guys for doing them. It's really nice. And we're just skipping back through the field now, as you can see, just to see where uh, people are currently running. And as you can see, we have skipped to the old final lap there. Um, sort of spread out a little bit at this point. Um, I'm just going to skip it on to near the end of the lap. There we go now. So uh, Tepic, who was on pole, is still in first place, as you can see there. In the KFC Yaris. He's coming around the last corner now. Yes, there he is. Cross the lines and well done to him. I did hold my second place there, so... Well done to me as I come round and cross the line. And in third place we have with Naylor. So that's your top three for the sprint race. Right, now we're going to go to the feature race. Um, I have condensed it down, obviously. Um, uh, so it's a reverse grid. So uh, Tepic will be right at the back. And as you can see, I'm second from last. Um, now, this race I knew was going to be an interesting one. Um, I did a little bit of practice. 
um, still need to do more on that front. But, um, did a little bit of practice and I realised that fuel was ridiculously tight. Um, as in one stop was dicey because you'll run out of fuel. Unless you do drastic fuel saving. Um, which I still hadn't made up my mind going into this race what, what to do and I think that was half my problem. Anyway, I'll come back to that in a sec. As you can see, rolling start, race is underway and across the line we've all gone. You can see I've gone down to last. That was on purpose. I just didn't want to get tangled in any turn one chaos. I thought it was better off just hanging back, seeing what happens and then uh, going from there. As you can see, there was a bit of chaos. I took it back there just so we could have a look. Not too bad, like the first race, could have been worse. And Tepic there really made a, a load of moves up there on that first corner, so well done to him on that. Right, and while that's going on in the background, yes, so strategy wise, um, a one stop really was a no go because you're going to have to fuel save so much and you're going to be so slow. So my idea was to two stop it um, but in hindsight I made a very big mistake uh, well I say I made a big mistake partly a big mistake and um, partly my fault um, I think if I'd have started on the hard tyres it might have been a better result for me but anyway I didn't I started on softs and my idea was to go like how you know flat out only do a really short stint like five or six laps then pit for my hards, uh, do a longer stint on hards, and then pit again, um, sort of around about lap 14, 15, and put a set of softs on for the last five laps. So I would be quick at the start and quick at the end and slow in the middle. That was my strategy. Um, however, um, I had quite a few incidents. Um, as you can see there, I got knocked off. Um, I had about five major incidents in these opening stages um, which I think really um, sort of saw sort of paid to my uh, my uh, results um, wasn't really anyone's fault you know I'm not blaming anyone um, it, it, it's just racing at the end of the day um, but I think if I'd have been on hards I could have saved myself and had a bit better strategy there, I had nowhere to go, unfortunately Victor un ghosts and uh, that's it, game over, look we're right back again, so all the places we made up we lost um, and that was the theme for me, like I say, I think it happened to me five times um, so just unlucky, one of those um, and wrong, because obviously that ruined my soft tyres so I got no advantage with being on the soft tyres at the start, which was the whole point, was to sort of get through the grid. All I did was get stuck and knocked off. Um, so by the time my softs could do anything, they were worn and I was pitting. So uh, bad strategy by me there, I'm gonna hold my hands up. And if I'd done it again, I would have started on hards and got them out of the way, which I think a lot of people did do, so. Uh, yeah, just one of those. Put it down to experience. Definitely need to do more practice with these um, events. I don't do nowhere near enough. Um, and I think that obviously doesn't help either. So definitely need to do more practice. Anyway, back to the race. And um, as you can see, um, still quite a few cars sort of grouped together there. I think as the race goes on it will get more spread out, still into the, the turn one as you can see.
And again, as you just saw there, I nudged off yet again. Um, as I say, I know none of it's on purpose. Monza is incredibly tricky um, for this sort of thing. Um, and it's not the widest track in the world. Um, so you just have to be careful. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, it just wasn't, wasn't my day for racing. And as we come along here, we go to fantastic exit out of that corner, as you can see. So I go up to the uh, left-hand side of uh, with Naylor, I think it is, and then pull back in. Um, and unfortunately, again, I know it wasn't on purpose, but he just tagged me. And as you can see, how far I've gone off there. Um, hats off to with Naylor. You can see him there in the blue car. He does actually stop and wait for me. So I know it wasn't done on purpose. Um, it was just unfortunate, but you can see how far I go off into the gravel trap, we're just watching it again. Um, but this is uh, brilliant racing and uh, really good race craft, race craft from with Naylor. Um, big shout out to him there. Um, you can see him there launching to me um, and hats off to him. He actually pulls over, look, you can see now he's not throttling, he's waiting for me to rejoin, which is the perfect way to do it. So shout out to with Nala, cheers there mate, thank you for that. Um, and he let me back in front of him, which is the nice and correct thing to do. And um, away we go. But anyway, as you can see, that was yet another incident that I had, um, which just put paid to my race. And because I picked the wrong strategy. So like I say, I'm not, uh, it's not, um, I'm not gonna blame everyone. You know, it was 50% my fault for picking the wrong strategy and 50% uh, having incidents which were just unfortunate. Um, next week it might be somebody else, you know, it happens. But uh, there you go. Uh, first race I had a second, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, and we'll go away from this and learn and try to improve. Um, next week I believe we're at Laguna Seca in these cars. Um, so that's going to be another interesting one. Um, so watch out for that, please do. We're just cycling through the field, as you can see. We have skipped on a bit as well. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show the whole race, because as it gets spread out, it does get a bit boring to watch. Um, so I think we're near, we're lap 17, 18. Um, I've done me, everybody's done their stops now. And I'm on the softs, and I was really hoping to um, catch these guys in front. Um, but I really just couldn't do it. I just, I uh, just just couldn't do it just didn't have the pace so um, we live and learn um, anyway um, what was the result so uh, actually uh, first place was Tepic uh, who won the first race he also won the second so well done to him bubble top comes second and uh, Interfired Air was in third place so well done to the top three like I say new cup so uh, five races this is race one down and uh, race two next week will be at the Laguna Seca. So I hope you can uh, join us for that. And we'll see some more fun. Thanks very much for watching as always. Totally missed the call there as you saw. i sort of given up I think at this point and uh, got reset. But anyway, thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.